today we're going to make some Hawaiian style ribeyes. I came across two or three versions of this recipe on the internet. Everybody is calling it the Houston's Steakhouse Hawaiian style ribeye. I've never been to Houston, so I'm not going to say it's a Houston's copycat, but the recipe sounded good. It sounded interesting. We're going to give it a try. I hope you stay with me. In here, I've got one third cup apple cider vinegar, six ounces of pineapple juice. Right here, I've got half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup soy sauce, and in here, I've got a teaspoon of dried ginger and a teaspoon of fresh minced garlic. Just going to stir this up, get this sugar and ginger and everything all blended in. Don't have to heat it too much, just enough to get it all blended in. Couple minutes tops. It's probably been about a minute, minute 15 seconds, maybe 20. I don't know, I wasn't timing it. I'll turn the heat off. And we're going to let this cool down. Sit here 15 minutes or so before we put these uh, steaks in it to marinate them. Two ribeyes here, 1.8 pounds total. Just gonna put them in this bag. And then you guessed it, take that marinade we made, Hawaiian marinade. Let's see if I can't pour it in here without making a mess. Yay for me. It's rare that I don't make a mess. All right. Now I just want to seal this guy up. What we're going to do is seal it up and then move it into the fridge for about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. And I let that uh, marinade rest, cool off, I guess is a better word, for about 20 minutes. It was uh, just barely warm to the touch of my finger, so I think we'll be just fine. I've still got just a little bit too much air in there. Let me get the rest of this air out. I pulled these guys out of the fridge in an hour, and they've been sitting here another 20 minutes while this pit barrel warms up. So we've marinated an hour and 20 minutes. Now I've got this pit barrel set on the smoke setting. What I'm going to do is we're gonna kind of do the old reverse sear. I'm gonna smoke these guys for a little bit. And then once they get up to about 105, we'll crank up the heat. It's been about 40 minutes, maybe 45. These are up to one, 104. Okay, they're not very thick, so I'm gonna pull them out, off. And then I'm gonna crank this guy up. Let them rest here while this pit boss is heating up. These guys are sitting here. I'm just going to put a little cracked black pepper on them. Don't need any salt, right, because of that soy sauce. Let's get these bad boys on the pit boss. This pit boss is up to uh, 450. I mean, we're going to cook these guys quick. I do not want to overcook them. As you can see, they're thin steaks. A minute on one side. We bit about a minute on this side. We're going to get these guys off of here. You can see we had one minute on one side, about a minute and a half on the other. These are already worked their way up to almost 131. So these ribeyes are going to be close to medium. They've been resting here about 10 minutes. They sure do cut easy. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, they're definitely a medium. Now, the important part is giving it a taste, right? Well, it's super tender. 
Let's see if that marinade was working. <laughs> oh, wow, it's juicy. It is juicy. Okay, now maybe it's because I only went an hour and 20 minutes. I taste the marinade. Um, and honestly, it's just about right. I, I was concerned it'd be all sweet and pineapple-y. And I know some people think the only seasoning for a steak is salt and pepper. But it's perfect. It's not too sweet. The pineapple is very, very, very mild. It was really good. It's got a very, very mild smoke. All the flavors are in the back. What's in the front is that awesome ribeye flavor. Hey, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell, then you'll be notified of all of our new videos. Thanks for watching.